Parliament's legal advisors have told members of the Portfolio Committee on Minerals that they are free to either launch a full-scale investigation on all allegations against uh, Minister Museben Zizwane or even establish an inquiry on his alleged misconduct. The legislators were unsure how to treat the allegations that emanated from the leaked emails about Zwane and his involvement in the sale of Optimum Mine to the Guptas back in 2016. The Gupta-owned Tegeta bought Optima Mine from Glencoe in a deal that was shrouded in mystery. Soon after, they scooped a multi-billion rand contract to supply coal to ESCOM. Musabin Zizwane is alleged to have played a central role in the sale of Optima. The Portfolio Committee on Minerals, which is one of the four parliamentary committees that were instructed to probe the leaked emails, was today briefed on the route they must follow. The minister cannot refuse. The Constitution, I've referred to Section 92, <coughs> and I've referred to the other provisions in the Constitution, which ensures that Parliament have the power and that, and that members of Parliament are protected to exercise this oversight function. That's the checks and balances. That's the intention of an open and transparent government, and that's written in the Constitution. So there's nothing strange about that. Parliament has used it. But even after a briefing by legal advisors, other members were still reluctant to get Zwane to account. We're dealing with... Uh, allegations, numerous allegations in the media. Uh, it's not a source that has come to the committee that has filed a complaint that we can now engage with that source and entertain those issues. So we're dealing with speculations that are sitting in the media and you are asking a parliament, a, a portfolio committee of parliament to sit on speculation and media uh, uh, allegations. Zwane is expected back in Parliament sometime next week to answer questions related to state capture. Manilisi Tubase, SABC News, Parliament.